thanks for tuning into this week's episode of Hashtag Ask AdWords. I'm Shana. And I'm Patrick. And this is where we answer your questions where you use the hashtag Ask AdWords over social media. This week's question comes from a Twitter user that asks, what tips can you give me to reduce my cost per acquisition without reducing my bids? Yeah, and this is a really natural question to ask. And you know, whether it's cost per acquisition or cost per click, you know, there's a lot of strategies you can take to try and make sure you're getting the most economical clicks. Um, and the best way to do this, you guys, is to remember that you want to have a high quality score, right? So if we think about the whole auction process, there's two really big factors that we're looking for to decide where we're gonna place your ad and how much you're gonna pay. So whether it's that bid or the quality score. So one of the big things you can do to really improve that quality score is take a look at your keywords, right? You wanna make sure that those keywords are really tight and relevant and they actually are gonna be those terms that people are gonna be searching for when they have that intent to interact with your business. So you know what that means is you want to make sure those keywords that they're showing up in your ad text and that they're showing up on your actual landing page. So that's a really easy way to make sure that, hey, are, are my ads, are my keywords, are they relevant? If they are, we're going to drive that quality score up and really make sure that we're keeping those bids as low as possible. Uh, another thing you can do here to really make sure that you're paying as little as possible for those cost per acquisitions is you know, actually making sure you're leveraging the right keywords, right? So remember, you can go to the Keywords tab. You can actually sort your keywords by cost per acquisition, and you can take a look and make sure that, hey, are these active keywords that I'm relying on, are they actually getting good results? And you can pause the ones that aren't maybe achieving that cost per acquisition you would like. And a second option is maybe for more advanced advertisers out there. You can actually use a bidding strategy called Conversion Optimizer. If you know how much you want to spend, you can set a target cost per acquisition amount and AdWords system will work to try and get your bids in that range. Just make sure that you have conversion history and that you do have the time and patience to kind of let the system and let the conversion optimizer strategy learn and adapt to your new settings. That's right, and if you guys want some more information about Conversion Optimizer, really would suggest checking out the Help Center article. There's some more technical information you can find there. We also have another video, which you can find on our channel here, that explains some of the differences of Conversion Optimizer compared to some of our other more advanced bidding strategies. Uh, like Shana said at the beginning, Conversion Optimizer, it's really great for those more advanced advertisers, but it does require a little more history and time to make sure that it runs effectively for you. Uh, but that said, Great question. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Ask AdWords. Remember guys, you can always send your questions in over social media using the hashtag Ask AdWords or you can leave a question right below. Thanks guys. Bye. Exams here. One of them has to be the AdWords fundamental exams and then the next test actually has to be one of four. So you can either take the search, display, shopping, or video exam, but it has to be one of those four and the other has to be. One thing to keep in mind is that this is something that our system automatically generates, so it won't happen to every single ad. It has been found to generate higher click-through rates. So if you do add in that punctuation, it does increase the likelihood, but it's not guaranteed that it will happen every